Magandang araw mga classmate. Ang pag-uusapan natin sa araw na ito ay may kinalaman sa square root. Sa araling ito, we are going to approximate square root. So, ibig sabihin, so solve natin ang square root ng isang number sa pamamagitan ng approximation. So, hindi tayo gagamit ng calculator para sa araling ito. And for us, to approximate square root so we have to uh, remember the uh, method that we're going to use so ano ba yun? so ang gagamitin natin dito is divide and average method okay subukan natin yung square root of 5 sa so, square root ng 5 so let's solve this step by step so ang ating unang step is to estimate so, estimate muna natin. So, sa pag-estimate, so we have to uh, look for two perfect square na pinakamalapit o mapapagitnaan si 5. So, ang unang uh, perfect square ay walang iba kundi 4. At yung pangalawang uh, perfect square is 9. So, bakit yun yung ginamit natin? Sana sa araling ito ay malinaw na sa atin mga classmate kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng perfect square. So, ito yung mga number na kung saan kapag kinuha natin yung kanyang principal roots ay whole number ang magiging sagot. Okay, kunin natin ang square root. So, we have square root of 4 and square root of 9. So, in this notation, so ito ay binabasa nag uumpisa tayo lagi sa gitna. So, ibig sabihin, square root of 5 is greater than the square root of 4 but less than the square root of 9. So, we all know that 4 is a perfect square and the square root of 4 is equivalent to 2. And square root of 9 is equivalent to 3. So, meaning to say, square root of 5 is greater than 2 but less than 3. So, ibig sabihin, makikita natin yung sagot sa pagitan ng 2 at 3. Okay, so let's proceed with step 2. So, ano ba yung ating step 2? So, dito na papasok yung ating uh, pag-divide. So, in this case, ano yung ating i-divide at kanito siya i-divide? So, gamit itong uh, notation na nakasulat dito, so, let's use always yung uh, ating hinahanap na number na nasa loob ng ating uh, division symbol. So, we have 5. Then, ang gagamitin nating divisor kung saan siya mas malapit kanina. So, 5, mas malapit siya kay 4. So, 4 ang square root niya ay 2. So, yun ang gagamitin natin. So, 5 divided by 2 so, we can get 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So, subtract natin. The answer is 1. So, 1 divided by 2, hindi pwede. So, we have to add 0. 10 divided by 2. So, we have 5. 5 times 2 is 10. So, 10 minus 10, 0. So, pwede na tayong pumunta ngayon sa ating step 3. Sa so step 3, so ang gagawin naman natin is to get the average. So ano ang kukunin nating average? So ang kukunin nating average ay yung uh, ating uh, quotient at yung ating divisor. So pagkuha ng average, so i-add lang natin yung 2.5 plus 2 and then divided by 2. So we all know that when we add 2.5 plus 2, so this is equivalent to 4.5. Divided by 2. So, ano ba ang 4.5 divided by 2? So, ganun ulit, classmate. So, divide natin. 4 divided by 2. So, we have 2. 2 times 2, 4. Subtract natin. So, this is 0. Bring down natin yung uh, 5. So, 5 divided by 2. Uh, we can get 2. For me, 2 times 2, 4. Subtract natin, we have 1, so add 0 tayo, bring down 0, 10 divided by 2, is 5, 5 times 2, 10, subtract natin, this is 0. So, meaning to say, 
4.5 divided by 2 is equivalent to 2.25. So in this case, pwede na natin i-consider yung sagot. But for us to get a more accurate answer, pwede natin uh, uh, sunindin uli yung step 4. So ang step 4 natin, repeat lang natin yung uh, step 2 and step 3 para mas maging accurate yung ating sagot. Tuloy pa natin. So, in this case, ang ating uh, gagamitin ng divisor, we have uh, 5 divided by, so ang sagot natin kanina ay 2.25. So, we have 2.25. Okay. So, move na natin to Move natin sa kanan. So, we have to add 2 zeros sa ating 5. Okay. So, 225 or 500 divided by 225. So, pwede tayong makakuha ng 2. So, 2 times 5, 10. 2 times 2, 4. Plus 1 is 5. Then, 2 times 2, 4. Subtract natin. 500 minus 450 is equivalent to 50. 50 divided by 225. So, not possible. So, we have to add 0. Again, 500 divided by 225. So, add tayo ng decimal point dito. So, this is equivalent again to 2. So, 2 times 5 uli. So, we have 10. Remainder natin. Uh, so, we have to regroup 1 pala. So, 2 times 2. Again, the answer is 4 plus 1. So, 5. 2 times 2, 4. Subtract uli natin. So, ang sagot uli is 50. We have to add 0. And then, so, we, ganun uli. So, to ang magiging sagot. So, this is equivalent to 450. 50 uli ang magiging sagot when we subtract 450 to 500. So, meaning to say, ang nagiging sagot natin ay paulit-ulit lang. So, we have 2.22 as the quotient. So, in this case, pwede na natin uling i-average. So, pag average natin, we have 2.22, eto, plus ang ating divisor, 2.25, divided by 2. So, 2.22 plus 2.25 is equivalent to 4.47, divided by 2. So, di-divide uli natin. 4.47 divided by 2. So, 4 divided by 2, we have 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Then, bring down 4. So, lagay tayo ng decimal point. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is equivalent to uh, 4. 0 uli when we subtract. So, bring down natin yung 7. 7 divided by 2. So, we can get 3 from it. 3 times 2, 6. When we subtract 1. So, when we add 0 here. 10 divided by 2, we have 5. 5 times 2, 10. So, when we subtract. So, this is equivalent to 0. Big sabihin. Uh, the average of uh, 2.22 and 2.25 is equivalent to 2.236. So, we can consider this as our answer when we get or when we are asked to find the square root of 5. So, kung hinihingi sa atin ay uh, to the uh, hundredths place, so we can consider square root of 5 is equal to 2.23. So, pwede nating i-check. Okay. So, in this case, so, kunin natin ang square root ng 5. So, ang naging sagot natin is 2.2360 and so on. So, ibig sabihin, yung naging solution natin is correct.
Okay. Sige, isa pa tayong example. So, this time, so let's try to you, uh, get the square root of 38. Okay, so isa-isahin uli natin. Step 1. Estimate tayo. Estimate natin saan makikita si square root of 38. So, merong dalawang malapit o napapagitnaan siya ng dalawang perfect square number. So, yung isa, pwede nating uh, i-consider yung 36. Then, yung isa is 49. Uulitin ko, classmate, napaka-importante sa ating unang step na kabisado natin o alam natin kung ano yung mga perfect square. So, kadalasan naman, ito yung mga uh, square ng numbers from 1 to 10. So, when we get the square root of 38, so we all know that this is greater than the square root of 36 but less than the square root of 49. So, square root of 36, again, is 6. And the square root of 49 is 7. So, ibig sabihin, uh, ang ating magiging sagot is somewhere between 6 and 7. So, ang magiging final answer natin ay 6 point something. So, yung uh, hahanapin natin kung saan ba siya pinakamalapit. Okay, punta tayo sa step 2. So, ang step 2 natin is to divide. So, anong i-divide at kanino siya i-divide? So, in this case, ang ating i-divide ay 38. So, since 38, mas malapit siya kay 36. So, let's consider 6 as divisor. So, 38 divided by 6. So, there are 6. 6 times 6. 36. Subtract natin. The answer is 2. So, when we add 0, lagay tayo ng decimal point. And then, bring down 0. 20 divided by 6. So, we can get 3 from it. 3 times 6 is 18. 2 ulit ang difference. So, pag nag-add tayo ng 0, 20 again divided by 6, 3. So, same procedure. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang nagiging sagot natin uli ay repeating decimal. So, ibig sabihin, pwede na tayong mag-stop dito. So, 6, or sorry, 38 divided by 6 is equivalent to 6.33. So, tandaan natin itong dalawang to. Kasi sa next step, which is step 3, so, ia-average natin uli yung quotient na 6.33 at yung ating divisor. So, 6.33 plus 6 is equal to 12.33 divided by 2. So, hindi tayo gumagamit ng calculator, mga classmate, ano? Kasi nabanggit naman sa unahan ng video na etong gagamitin natin ay approximation without the use of calculator. So, in this case, 12.33 divided by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 times 2, we have 12. Then, bring down 3. 3 divided by 2, we can get 1 from it. So, 1 times 2 is 2. Minus uli. Magiging sagot is 1. So, bring down natin yung huling uh, number which is 3. 13 divided by 2. So, we have 6. 6 times 2, 12. So, 13 minus 12, again, is 1. Add tayo ng 0. So, 10 divided by 2, 5. 5 times 2, 10. So, pag sinabtrack natin, 0 na ang sagot. So, ibig sabihin... The average of 6.33 and 6 is equivalent to 6.165. So, kung kukunin natin ang square root ng 38, so pwede na natin i-consider ang 6.16 if you're asked to find the answer written in hundreds place. 
Okay, so to verify kung yung naging sagot ba natin ay uh, pinakamalapit na estimation ng square root of 38. Again, let us uh, check using the calculator kung ano nga ba ang magiging sagot when we get the square root of 38. So, square root of 38 is equivalent to 6.16441 and so on. So, ibig sabihin... Uh, our answer, which is 6.16, is correct. Okay, so that's it, mga classmate. So, I hope you learn a lot again sa ating video. So, sana ay makatulong ito sa pagsagot uli ng mga aralin o mga activity na may kinalaman sa lesson natin sa grade 7. So, that's it. Until next time.